welcome back to FC 24 Manchester City career mode, the final instalment of season five that we are doing. And we are doing reasonably well here at the moment. We start the season pretty well. You can see there, beating Bilbao 5-3 in the end of the last one. 2-1 one against Palace, a 3-1 three, one against Leeds, couldn't get out. A 3-0 win against Aston Villa, a 2-1 win against Bournemouth, a 4-0 win against Fulham, a 3-2 win against Liverpool and a 3-0 win against Arsenal as well. Looking really good. Today's episode, we've got Manchester United away which we will play. It's then Accrington, we will simulate in the Carabao Cup. Spurs at home, we will play. Frankfurt away, we will play. And Chelsea at home, we will play. And then we'll probably simulate a Watford game, the Shakhtar game, maybe even the Forest game. I'll get ourselves to the 1st of November in today's series. So kicking ourselves off against Manchester United. This is the Man United side. Onana is the goalkeeper. Wagner, born out, Minjay, and Alvaro Fernandez, the back four. It's Chalon Oglu still sticking around with Fiorentino Luis, the midfield two, with Captain Mason Mount, Captain Manchester United in front. Pilestri on the right, Laurent on the left, and Vita Roque through the middle. He's the key man. Fafana, Kirikes, Rykov, McTominay, Pope, Reeve, and Shuratai on the bench. They've drawn three, lost one, and won one. 97 attack Manchester United, but still not doing well. Key attacking players are Vita Roque and Sean Oglu, but at Eric Tenag's side aren't the side that we expected them to be at this stage of the career mode. So some enforced changes to our side due to fitness and injury. Jan Kuto injured, so misses the game today. And Dala obviously still injured. Echivere, Doyle and Borsa not quite fit. Lewis as well rested alongside Baptiste and Lawrence, even for the match of the derby. So Edison starts and goal with Scali, Gohi, Elaine and Barco, the back four. It is Redondo in the holding role with Captain Phil Ford and Matej Nunes in front. It is then Savi on the right, Musiel on the left and Erling Carlin through the middle. João Pedro, Jeremy Doku back from injury. Lawrence, Odorogo, great. Lewis and Baptiste on our bench. So away to Old Trafford, Manchester City versus Manchester United. Vita Roque, the star striker in the Premier League for a long time, but the Premier League's big superstar is back in Erling Haaland. Returns from La Liga, he's been banging the goals in and expecting to do so today. Out come the two sides, Old Trafford. It's Manchester City versus Manchester United. It's Derby Day. With injuries, Mosiella dropping narrow. Nicely done by Jan Mosiella. Jan Mosiella here. Savio gone then. Mosiella still. Three, he's just on side, is it? It's Scally. It's Joe Scally. Big save from Oh Nana. Could I have squared that? Back out to Haaland. Matthias Nunes. Barco. Barco. In there, it's a tapping for Musiala. Great goal by City. Jamal Musiala makes it 1 0 Manchester City. Great goal by the German. In there to finish it off. Good, good goal. Our number 10 this season. Musiala, given that number 10 shirt after the departure of Grealish and so on. Barco swung in by the fullback right across the box. I mean, Musiala stood on his own there. Born out, Fernandez, Kim Min Jay. Just stand, watch Musiala. And he gets goal number three of the season here in five games. And we lead at Old Trafford. And I think we're going to have a really successful season here under Ilkay Gundogan. Nunes intercepts it. It's Haaland. Haaland. Haaland hammers that one for 2-0. Mistake by United. City pounce. Mateusz Nunes towards Erling Haaland, who makes it 2-0 Manchester City. Smashed in by Haaland. City is smashing United Old Trafford. Kim Min Jae can't get near him. He doesn't know what to do. Haaland finds that gap between Onana. His arms, his legs. He puts it in for 2-0 City within 20 minutes. Mateusz Nunes. Elaine. Redondo. Redondo again. Nice flick into Phil Foden. Away from Mason Mount. Foden, what a ball by Foden. Here's Scali. Savio. Savio on the right foot. 3-0 Manchester City. Spectacular finish from Savio. City's number seven on that right foot. And we lead by three goals to nil. But we have to give credit to Phil Foden there for an unbelievable ball through to the fullback Scali who made the run. And Savio. What a strike across the keeper, Onana. Very difficult technique. He catches it so well. 3-0 Manchester City. Ass Old Trafford on Derby Day. After 30 minutes, Manchester United have been pulled apart here. By an amazing Manchester City side. Under a new manager. The, the Pep Guardiola area is very much gone. Some of the players still remain. And towards Mateus Nunes. you just got this ability just to drive Mateus, hasn't it? And he does drive into Savio. Savio takes it down to make it 4-0. It's so easy. It's simple. It's Manchester City 4, Manchester United 0. 
And we smash them in the derby. We're not even at half time yet. What a ball in by Mateus Nunes. What is United's defence doing? Savio. Style ahead of Jeremy Doku. Doku back from injury. Savio's been in great form. And he's shown it again here, Savio. 3-0 Manchester City. Savio is on fire. City are on fire. Manchester United nil. Manchester City 4. Spectacular performances all round. United not even fit to lace our boots. But the England international, as he is now. I think anyway, he's down injured. Redondo. Because Savio find a pocket of space. On to Phil Foden. Spectacular football. Foden. What a touch. Foden to Scally. Scally. In. Musiala takes it down the box. Off on Anna. Oh, so unlucky by Yama Mus Jama Musiala. So unlucky. Injury for Max Lane, which might force him off. We've got Jamal Baptiste on the bench. Scally out for this one. Good edit. Savio takes it down. Savio pulls him off again. Savio step overs. Haaland. Back to Savio. In towards Mateus Nunes. He pulls it back to Barco. Who caught it all wrong. Scally into it. Savio tries to flick it onto Haaland. Not once but twice. He's fouled in there as well. Savio. Free kick City in water position. Do we shoot or do we whip this one to Haaland? I think we try and drop this one on Haaland's head. Which we do, Will, and Carlin makes it 5-0. So easy. So, so easy. 5-0 Manchester City. Erling Carlin with a finish. Clipped onto the head of the big Norwegian. He's back at City and he's firing. He's firing again. Great lifting by Phil Foden. Haaland, a cut above the rest, leaps so high. He's free. He's unmarked. And it's 5-0. Wow. We're going to make changes now at 5-0 up. Uh, Baptiste will come on for a lane. Put Goye to the left. Jeremy Doku make his return to the side for Savio. Ninja cross. City keep that press on here. Mosiella in there. Foul. Play on again. All in behind towards Pilestri. Goye, what an interception from Mark Goye. Hound on to Phil Foden. And Jeremy Doku, who's lightning quick. He's gone here. And here is Doku. Doku. Haaland for the hat-trick. 6-0 Manchester City. This could be our biggest ever Derby Day win. 6-0 Manchester City. What a goal. We are spectacular. Ilkay Gundogan has got this team playing champagne football. Great play. Docu to Haaland for 6-0. Hat-trick for Erling will come off now for João Pedro. Emilio Lawrence for Musiala. We get Barco off. Oh, it was meant for João Pedro. It's flicked over to Jeremy Doku. Mateus Nunes gets it back down. Goye back forward towards Odorogo. Holds it up well. And the corner to João Pedro. Wide by the forward. João Pedro to Scali. Doku in the middle. Doku with a chance. It is seven. City make it seven. And we break our Derby Day record. Seven nil at Old Trafford. Doku is just stood there waiting. Manchester United defensively are all over the place. They have been all game. Joe Scali's got a few assists for himself on this far side. Great crossing. Doku side foots in the bottom corner. Oh, Nana just watches for 7 0 Manchester City. Wow. What a Derby Day performance this has been. City beat United by seven goals to nil. That is an insane record. What a team. Well, guys, look at the stats here for some of these players. Doku gets an 8.6 off the bench. Haaland a 9.4 with a hat trick today. But it's Savio who gets a 9.7 on Man of the Match with two goals, no assists. Foden got an assist to his name, 8.4. Mateus Nunes, two assists as well with a 9.0. Barco with an 8.2. And don't forget Joel Scally, two assists as well for his name, an 8.6. But I'm going to give it, I mean, lots of good performances all round. I'm going to give it to Savio, a 9.7 rating. My man of the match in the A Sports Man of the Match. What a performance by Manchester City. It's bad news from Axel Lane. Three months out with a broken toe injury. That is something I'm slightly worried about because we are already lacking in the squad anyway. It's a small squad. That makes it even smaller. Well, next we're home to Accrington in the FA Cup where he picked up a two-goal win, a two-nil win over Accrington. A clean sheet. Goals from Doku back from injury. Back playing again. Odorogo as well in the 81st minute. Man of the match goes to Odorogo with an 8.5 rating in that midfield. We are looking at a centre-back for perhaps January. And one of those that has been offered to us is Ronald Araujo or an option for us anyway. 19 appearances, 3 goals and no assists for Arsenal so far. This season centre-back epitomises the modern-day defensive archetype. Seamlessly blending immense strength, speed and physicality. He's adept at playing out for the back. This warrior also possesses a potent aerial threat during set-pieces. 
Truly a defensive powerhouse and a relentless fighter. I mean, he's absolutely wonderful, Ronald Araujo. Around 90 rated. He's got everything you want in a centre-back. He's quick. He's strong. He's good in the ball. He's a massive aerial threat. And he is the perfect centre-back. The only issue we've got is that he plays for Arsenal. And I think that is going to be a bit of a difficult one to try and get him to sign from Arsenal. Sign for Manchester City and agree a deal with Arsenal. But he's certainly on our list of scouted players. So for six Premier League games, sitting pretty at the top of the table on 18 points, six wins from a possible six, 13 plays Tottenham Hotspur coming to the Etihad on a test today. This is Spurs side that have signed a lot of players from a lot of teams around the Premier League. They start with Arsene Gault, it is, what a, what a name that is. Pantera, Saliba, Skriniar, the captain, and Mikolenko, the back four. Sanket, Meretti, and Guido Rodriguez in the midfield three. Luis Diaz on the left. Sergio Gomez for Manchester City, man on the right. And Colomani through the middle. On the bench, Restes, Madison, Bischoff, Abel Ruiz, Arta, Fisher and Hansen. Three draws, one loss and one win at the start of the season. Spurs not doing so well. Colomani, attacking-wise, we need to look out for. And William Saliba, defensively, he's the key man at the back. Former Arsenal man. With tired legs in the squad, we have made rotations around the side. It's the usual starting eleven with Savio in for Doku, who's been in great form at the moment. Redondo in the midfield. And our Swiss Army Mike, as we've called him, Matthias Nunge, who's played at right back, he's played left back, he's played central midfield, attacking midfield, defence midfield. Today fills in at centre back with Max Lane injured. We are lacking in the centre back areas. So and Baptiste and Goy are both tired. So it is Doyle alongside Matthias Nunge at the back against Spurs. Uh, which I think we'll be okay with. Pedro, Doku, Lawrence, Otherogo, Gray, Baptiste and Baez on the bench. No, Elaine and Andala due to injury. No, Rodriguez, Gentile, Scali, Botha or Echivere or Goy down to fitness. scali has been playing well, but he's tired today. Plumawani, Mateus Nunja cross. Luis Diaz beaten. Beaten there, Jan Kuto. Back towards Luis Diaz, who slams one in the near post. Well, Mateus Nunja at the best, best start to his City career as a centre-back there. Jan Kuto blocks it, he bounces off Nunes back to Luis Diaz, who slams it in the near post. I mean, what an angle to hit that one in. Edison can't get anywhere near that. Good tackle by Redondo. And into Rico Lewis. Rico. Sabio. He's got his fellow Brazilian. Jan Kuto bombing forward in this far side. Kuto. Into Haaland here. Haaland on that right foot, save by the keeper. Back out to Jan Kuto. Fold him. Callum Doyle, Musiala, Barco, Barco in, Haaland there, City score, it's 1-1, and it's Erling Haaland again, at that far post, great swing in from Barco, the man is an absolute machine, and I'm so glad to have him back, so glad to have him back, four years away from the club at Real Madrid, but he says he loves Manchester, he loves City, and he's back, fights off Mikolenko, and it's a flying header from Erling Haaland, to level it up at 1-1 for Manchester City. Ghost in that far post was Haaland ready to score that one. City end up having the move break down once or twice. Mateus Nunes here from centre-back. Bowden. Savio. Through to Haaland here. Pulls off Mikolenko. Musiala blocked. Savio in there away. Foden back out only as far as Luis Diaz. Careful. Can't win that one. Luis Diaz back to Mateus Nunes to deal with against... Callum Oani. Callum Doyle just decides to walk away there. Where is the solidity, Callum Doyle? Watch Doyle's position here. You can see they're out in the middle three. Miretti. Doyle stands and watches. Not interested. Spurs take the lead again. Two goals can see to Spurs here. Must be Allett. Over top here. Dealt with. Rico Lewis. That wide to Barco. Valentin Barco. Down the wide area. Does well. Barco. Good challenge on him by Pantea. Saliba lets it run. So Musiala saved. Haaland with a header. 2-2. Two -two. Well, massive mistake by William Saliba. Haaland gets his second of the game. What is Saliba thinking? I don't know. Let's it roll across his body in the box. Musiala gets him to the end of it. Hits it. Saved with the power. And Haaland's there for a tapping. Taps it in with the head. Two headers, headers today for Erling Haaland. 2-0. It should be. It's 2 all. Sanket. Doyle's not doing well today, Sanket with a save. He made a good challenge there, Doyle, before. But actual defensive areas, I haven't been impressed by him. Free header here! Spurs take a 3-2 lead. They're back in front again. Milan Skriniar, the captain. Defensively been all over the place. Ball comes in. Barco clears it onto Edison. 
On the line is Barco to clear it onto Edison. Half time whistle goes. With 3 2 down to Spurs, and it feels unjust. But space for Luis Diaz here. Chased by Jan Cuto. Luis Diaz pass Redondo. Doyle across. Luis Diaz makes it 4 2 Spurs. Could be our first defeat of the season here. We, had, we, we defended individually so poorly. Redondo, I don't know what Redondo's doing. Doyle dives in to try and block it. Edison's not made a single save today. Every shot's gone in 4-2 to Tottenham Hotspur. Well, they are the bogey side for Manchester City Spurs. Phone for City. Phone still drives the ball forward. Phil Foden brilliantly. On to Haaland. It's Doku. It's Doku and he can't get it into Musiala. Spurs come the other way now. Redondo out of position. Counters on. Here they come. Kulamawani. Chased by Redondo on a yellow card here. Redondo. Chance for Spurs still. They make it 5 2. We've been battered by Spurs here. They've had six shots and five goals. Sanket scores. We're not coming back from this, are we? City pushing, but pushing just for a consolation goal, really. Foden. Haaland. Bad touch by Haaland. Such a completely the wrong direction there, Haaland. Why is he taking it across his body like that? Full time. City 2, Spurs 5. Smashed at home. Bit of a wake up call because we're on Dreamland after that derby. Now we crash back down to reality again. It's back into Champions League action with Eintracht Frankfurt. The test for us today. They've got one point so far in the group since second place. We're top on three points after a big goal fest against Aleti Bilbao. This is sign for Frankfurt. A 3-4-3. Evanlison, Balladier and Lindstrom. The front three. Jota, Varela, Dominguez and Knauf in the midfield four. Yet eight. Captain Sotelo, Medina. The back three. Medina's been signed for Monaco. Dufingal. Sinister, Ivan and Kunku. Good plays in there. They draw on the first game. Lindstrom, a key attacking player. I'm not exactly sure what to expect. An attacking side, certainly from looking at that starting 11. Well, tight legs, a change is made for City. Doku's back in on the right after a poor performance in Spurs. He starts on the right today. Echivere on the left. Gray comes in the holding role for Redondo. And Mark Goy is good to see him back in the defence alongside Doyle. With both at left back, we've got Lawrence Savio. Optional bench, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, João Pedro, Redondo, Scali, and Jamal Baptiste. Well, after an embarrassing performance against Spurs, a freak result really after a 7 0 win against United to go and lose so heavily like that. Looking to get back to winning ways here in the Champions League. Good play from Jota. Goy beat him. Defensively struggling Manchester City. First shot on goal conceded again. It's Lindstrom who was picked out as the key man for them. But defensively all over the shop again. Really poor from City. Callum Doyle, what are you doing? And they score to make it 1-0 Frankfurt. There's a dark patch in the middle of the field here. You can see how Rico Lewis is covered by the shadow. Docu across here. Can't win it. Docu chases still. So is Jan Kuto. Good footing by Jan. Can't get there. Chance again for Frankfurt. Lindstrom once more blocked by Doyle. Just stood there. Again! 2-0. Ivan Lisson fires one. Edison's got butterfingers, I think. 2-0. 2 0 to Frankfurt. Ivan Lisson. Through the legs of Goy. And Edison doesn't see it again. 2 0 down to Frankfurt in the Champions League. Well, are we about to hit a massive lip here? Ball in. Head away by Goy once again. He's trying to head everything away. Chance blocked away. Rico Lewis onto Erling Haaland here. Haaland. Can't run it away, Haaland. Chance for the opposition again. Doyle takes a man out on the edge of the box, which is Dominguez. <sighs> Trying to block it, doing his best to block it. Takes him out completely on the edge of the box. Free kick. The yellow card surely for Callum Doyle. But a great position for a free kick here. Off the line. Back out. Edison makes the save. Come on, boys. 2-0 down here. Must have flipped one over top to Echivere. City look devoid of options here. Phone it falls to. Into Doku. Doku. Haaland. Rico Lewis. Rico Lewis! Oh! Big miss by Rico. Foden. Jan Kuto. Back to Gray. Archie Gray taken out from behind here, referee. It's a red card for Deer. Wow. 
Doyle. Recolors the goal before half time. Be massive here. Echivere! Just saved by the youth behind for another corner. Last chance here of the half. Folding him. Mark Goy with a big edit. Big save by the youth. Half time. 2 0 down to the 10 men of Eintracht Frankfurt. City certainly in a blip here. Echivere. Harland. Lewis. Doku. Fold him. Harlan just on side. I think Erling Harlan makes it 2 1. Harlan's goal pulls one back. Come on. Good play from City. Nice interchange in midfield here. Once we got going, Foden finds a little slide through to Erling Harlan. Weaker right foot slips in the bottom corner. Simple for City. 2 1. Back to Harlan. Into Jeremy Doku. Jeremy Doku makes it 2 2. Well, I said he weren't playing well. City back level now. What a comeback. Against 10 men, yes. But when it looked like it was completely out of it, Haaland squares it towards Doku. And he beats goalkeeper Duf to make it 2 all. And Frankfurt are panicking now. I mean, they thought they were going to get a result against Manchester City. They still might. But it's starting to fade away. Ball forward into the hands of Edison. Get that forward now, Eddie. Into Lawrence. Water. Rico Lewis. Holds up well here. He's got Echivere making a run here. Here's Claudio Echivere. The Argentinian Echivere. Space. Echivere. Echivere! Gives City the lead. 3-2. Come on. Claudio Echivere with a finish. Brilliant finish by Echivere. City from 2-0 down at half time. And now 3-2 up. And it's Claudio Echivere. Played in. And he bends it round the goalkeeper. Duf. Great finish by the Argentinian off this left-hand side. City in front, thanks to Echivere. And more change to be made here. Phil Foden, very tight. Odorogo comes up. Odorogo. Pressing and looking. Late one there on the player. He's fouled him. They play on. Frankfurt not happy. Haaland in behind towards Rico Lewis. Rico onto Echivere. Here's Claudio Echivere. Echivere! Oh, say by the youth behind for a corner. Emilio Lawrence over this one. Swung him. Header! Off the bar! Away! Punched away. Other oh, go. Back out. Alan chases it. Gets there. Echivere sets himself. Bends one into the hands of Duf. Now, is Emilio Lawrence right-footed? He is. Well, he should be playing on the left, shouldn't he? And Savio on the, on the right. That makes sense. Savio's left-footed. Scali beat him. Jota. For my Aliti Adam Celtic man, Jota. Chased by Other oh, go. Cross comes into the far post. Lawrence can't stop it. Still a chance of Frankfurt here. Still a chance of Frankfurt. Edison makes a big save. Massive save from Eddie. Hugs from Baptiste. Haaland holds it up well. Archie great. Claudio Echivere. On to Erling Haaland. Here is Haaland for City. Haaland. On to Echivere. Who makes it 4-2? So unselfish from Erling Haaland there. Echivere makes it 4-2. Manchester City. Three points in the Champions League. And three points deserved in the Champions League. With that comeback. Massive comeback now. Changes left to be made I think. No we've made all our subs. 4-2 win. 2-0 down at half time. Four goals in the second half. What a side this Manchester City team is. Yes we lost to Spurs. But we've got mental resilience. If you lose one it's about not losing the next one. Scally with them. Good tackle by Gray. Savio into Haaland. Full time whistle goes. A 4-2 win in the Champions League. Goals galore in the Champions League for us at the moment. We need to settle down this competition. But that's a great result. 9.1 rating by Erling Haaland. He gets man of the match from EA Sports. But I'm going to give it to Echivere. Two goals today. He was spectacular as well. And let's ju just share it between the two performing players. Well, another since back on our list of possible targets for January is Matthias Dilly of Bayern Munich. 16 appearances, two goals and two assists uh, so far. He is a seasoned centre-back and excels as an unwavering defender, seamlessly integrating modern play from the back. He possesses immense strength, but questions linger around his mobility and whether his limited explosive speed aligns the demands of the Premier League. And that is my big issue with Dilly. He seems like the perfect sort of player. I think he'd probably be willing to move from Bayern Munich. City have been linked with him before. City have wanted Dilly before in the past when he played for Ajax and when he left Juventus but they couldn't get their deal done. He moved to Bayern Munich and Bayern are looking to move him on now. He's been there for quite a while. But he seems in style, especially in game on FC24, similar to Ruben Diaz. And Diaz just didn't work out at the club at all. Uh, his pace really, really let him down. And I think the fact that Delay is also a bit of a slower defender, I think that might make him very limited. And I don't really want a flop sign. I need someone who's going to come in 
and step up and be the main man at the back to, to you know really improve the spine of the team. So I'm experienced, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit unsure on the lit, but uh, other than his pace, everything else about his game is absolutely p perfect for us, really. Well, the final game of today's episode is third versus second. We've dropped down to third with that defeat against Spurs. Arsenal sit top of the table, and it's Manchester City against second place Chelsea. This is the Chelsea side. They've got top Wilk. It is McKenney and Kunku and Marea, the three behind. For Fana, signed from Monaco and Declan Rice, the midfield two. Captain Gertrude, Luka Vaskovic, Tete and Perez, the back four. Yo Costa and Golic, Williams, Sterling, Humphreys, Seaman, Agnolo, Edwards and Enzo Fernandez on the bench. The key players are Wilk attacking-wise, Vakovic defensively. They've drawn the last two and lost one before that, but did win the two before that. They are in second place. They are above us in the league table. Well, tired Manchester City side means changes. Doyle and Goy partner again with Barco and Kuto still in the wide areas and the fullback areas. The only changes are Mateus Nunes comes in for a tired Rico Lewis and Joao Pedro up top in for a tired Erling Carl who does make it to the bench. But uh, quite a few players missing today due to, to fitness. Lawrence made an impact in the last one. Savio, plenty of good players in this side. Goy is going to have to be substituted sometime for Baptiste. I mean, I want to start because he is the solid one at the back. So there is a Stamford Bridge dressing room. Manchester City away to Chelsea here. A big one. Third versus second. Chelsea and Arsenal are in that side of the race with us this season. Out they go. Great play by Chelsea and Kunku. Good play by Chelsea. Edison saves it at the near post. What a start by Chelsea. Brilliant football. They should be in front here. Edison's made three good saves. Ball in. Mateus Nunes drives it away from his own box here. Brilliant from the Portuguese. Mateus Nunes still going. Feeds one through to João Pedro. He's up top today instead of Erling Haaland. João Pedro. Pedro! 1-0 City. City's first actual attack of the game. And it's João Pedro. What a player he is, by the way. Signed in the Roberto de Zerbi era after a player who knew very well at Brighton. That's brilliant. He's a backup to Haaland. But he's a very good player. Played in. Beats Costa with a fantastic finish. Pedro gets goal number five in six games this season. Wow. Some finisher. 1-0 City lead Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea all over as one shot, one goal. It feels harsh, doesn't it, Chelsea, when the team do that to you? We have it to us pretty much nearly every week. Gives it away. Chelsea keep it. We're struggling here today. Really struggling. No Rico Lewis to sort of win as the ball back in midfield, it feels like. There's Barco, though, pouncing a mistake again. And Barco through to Musiala. They're in trouble again here, Chelsea. Musiala. 2-0 City. Wow. On the counter. We have smashed them twice. City can play on the counter as well. 6-6 six six as well, Pedro. 2-0 Manchester City. Two chances after two Chelsea mistakes. Pounce on the counter. Musiala sets up Pedro. Who scores his second of the game. In there for Haaland today. No problem. 2-0 we lead Chelsea. We've had two shots and hardly any of the ball. Matthias Nunes. Turns on that. To Phil Foden. Musiala turns. Musiala hits it. Right down the middle. Right down the middle. Been caught on it, which is rare. And well, he's done well with it. Foden. Joao Pedro. Nice touch by Joao Pedro. Joao Pedro. What a goal that would have been. Flicks it over the defender's head. So, so skillfully. And looks to volley it in. I think Redondo's picked up an injury again. Half time, Manchester City lead by two goals in on Stamford Bridge. And behind towards Wilk. Well done, Callum Doyle gets ahead on it. Barco against Wilk. Barco gets a foot on it. Cross it in towards Jan Cuto. And we get it back. Redondo. Matthias Nunes. Phil Foden. Savio. What a turn by Savio. Here's Brazilian Savio. Savio. Musiala. 4 3 0. City. Off the post by Musiala. Assist for Savio. What a bit of play from Savio there. The turn. So smooth. So elegant. And Musial smashed in for three. I thought I might have messed it up a little bit. But no, he pulls it back perfectly for, Sa for Musial to hit it off the post and in. Goy's very tired. He's going to come off for Baptiste now at 3 0 up. We need Mark Goy fit and playing more games. Maybe we change his training plan. But off he comes now, Goy, for Jamal Baptiste. Nothing came of it. Savio. Here's Scali. Odrogo. Odrogo blocked away. Musiala with a diving header. Away by Chelsea again for four. 
to Doku. Well done. Other all go. Drive from the German from midfield here. Other all go. Great play. Other all go here. In. Chance for Lawrence diving in there. Gertruda just got something on it. Wants a run from Barco. It's not coming. Mateus Nunji against Gertruda. It's past him. Barco. Other all go on to his right foot. Other all go. Same by the keeper. Behind for a corner. Well, at least the referee says play on. I'm surprised. That was time there, surely. Lawrence to swing this one in. In. Joel Pedro in there for the hat-trick. Into the hands of Diogo Costa. Fouled by Doku. Full-time whistle goes. 3-0 Manchester City. Without early in Carland, we beat the side. And that's very impressive. But between Musiala and Joel Pedro for another match, EA Sports give it to Joel Pedro. And I have to agree, I think he did everything up top. And without Haaland today, he was rested. Joel Pedro performed brilliantly. 8.48. Well, three simulations now fall to end the episode, starting off with a 2-1 win against Watford. Goals from Echeve and Odorogo. Man of the match for Odorogo with an 8.0 rating. No, man of the match for Callum Doyle with an 8.2 rating in the back. City win, three points, but no clean sheet against Watford. Up next is Champions League action against Shakhtar Donetsk away from home. Manchester City picks up a 2-1 win again. Goals from Haaland and Doku. Man of the match for Erling Haaland with an 8.6 rating. Well, the final game today's episode was a simulation against Nottingham Forest away from home. City got a clean sheet and scraped through with an 85-minute winner from Erling Haaland, who gets man of the match. He doesn't. Edison gets man of the match with 8.5 rating. Clear the keeper kept us in that one to get it. So that one, Forrest didn't play well at all. That ends today's episode. Thank you for watching. Please do like the video if you haven't already. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you want to see all these videos extended and early, join the We Are City Members Club. We'll see you next time.